So still in China, they just published this new map that includes territories of Taiwan, India, Malaysia, Philippines. Uh, we know that the president will be in New Delhi and in Hanoi. The vice president will be in Jakarta meeting with ASEAN leaders. What can we expect from them on this issue of territorial disputes and how forward leaning would they be? So a couple things on, on his trip uh, uh, in Hanoi, uh, since day one, the administration, we have focused on rebuilding and investing in our allies and partners, right, uh, throughout the world and especially within the Indo-Pacific. You saw that most recently with the trilateral that he held at Camp David, a historic uh, meeting there. As the United States looks to deepen our ties with the region, Vietnam is going to be a key partner. And so the deliverables that will be announced as part of this visit will reflect both the breadth and also the depth of that relationship. Uh, um, as you know, we try not to get ahead of this president as we, uh, as these trips are up, uh, um, uh, upcoming. Uh, as it relates to the vice president, as you just mentioned, she's going to be going to Jakarta. Will be uh, a continuation of her work as well. She's been a partner in this when it comes to strengthening our partnership with ASEAN nations on maritime security in the South uh, China Sea. Uh, the vice president has spoken extensively throughout the Indo-Pacific about the importance of international rules and norms, and uh, you can expect that conversation and that kind of approach to continue on her trip as well. Uh, she has spent significant time working on these issues with leaders uh, from Southeast Asia. You can expect the Vice President to discuss the South China Sea as well uh, throughout her meetings in Jakarta. A couple of things, she will reaffirm our support for the freedom of the seas, peaceful resolution of disputes and adherence of international law, including freedom of navigation. She will advance our work with ASEAN partners to preserve martial law, and she will make clear peace and stability in the South China Sea is vital uh, to the entire uh, to the entire world. Again, not going to get ahead um, of those uh, sp uh, that specific engagement, but it is consistent and it is a continuation of what her work has been as she's clearly in partnership with this president as we uh, move forward in the Indo-Pacific. Specifically, say whether the president or the vice president would discuss specifically about this new Chinese map. Look, I'm not going to get into get ahead of that. I just laid out uh, what we have been working towards, right? Deepening that relationship, uh, which is incredibly vital, that Indo-Pacific relationship. Uh, so it's certainly going to be a continuation of that. Uh, you know, those trips are upcoming, and so once we have more to discuss and lay out and read out, we certainly will do that. Uh, but uh, look, we look forward to these uh, these types of diplomatic conversations, uh, and again, deepening deepening those important critical uh, relationships that the president has been leading on since the beginning of his administration. Go ahead, Ed. Should we anticipate an on-camera briefing with Jake or someone about the trip beforehand? Yes, you can anticipate, as we normal do, yeah. normally do, Ed. That is, uh, that is something that we do right. ahead, of a, ahead of a trip. So. As for some